The Iran qualified as Group C winners of the Asian Cup after they beat the United Arab Emirates by a goal to nil on Monday. It was a group keenly followed by Australia's Arabic communities, as the BBC's Manny Jasmi found out in a Melbourne shisha bar. Disappointment and frustration for the United Arab Emirates, who deserve more from the match than a win. But what it has done is set up the mouth-watering prospect of a clash in the quarter-finals between one of the Asian Cup's form teams and its holders, Japan. And not only that, but it also means that the Emirates' star player, midfielder Omar Abdurrahman, now has the opportunity to really prove himself against the continent's big boys. Because if the UAE meet Japan and beat Japan, they could then face the host Australia in the semi-finals. As for Iran, that was Reza Khuchanrajad's first goal for the national team since the World Cup. Then it was a consolation, now anything but, because they probably avoided the heavyweight section of the draw. Instead, their likely opponents in the last eight will be Iraq in Canberra. The Emirates will probably be one of only two Arabic teams in the knockout stage, despite nine nations starting the competition. But that means they'll be able to enjoy the support of Australia's many Arabic expatriate communities. Manny Jasmi, BBC News, at the Asian Cup in Australia. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs>